What's up everyone? I'm Connor and you're watching No Passport Needed where I'm making a dish from every single country in the world. Today, we're going to Cuba and making Ropa Vieja. Ropa Vieja is a braised beef dish with lots of peppers, onions, and spices. It literally translates to old clothes in Spanish, and this is because after braising, the strips of beef can resemble strips of torn old clothing. The dish originated in the Spanish Canary Islands off the coast of Western Africa, but it's come to be one of Cuba's national dishes. While Ropa Vieja is a quintessential Cuban dish, it's worth noting that beef is hard to come by for those that live in Cuba due to its cost and availability. That being said, it's still one of the most identifiable and delicious Cuban dishes, so let's get into it. To start, we're going to take about a pound of flank steak and cut it into 3 inch chunks. Add them to a bowl while we prepare our marinade for the meat. For the marinade, we're going to start with the veggies and finally chop half an onion, half an Anaheim pepper, then we'll peel and poop garlic down, then we'll peel and mash 5 cloves of garlic. Next, we'll prep a spice mixture called sazon. You can buy sazon, but to make it at home, mix together half a tablespoon coriander, half a tablespoon cumin, half a tablespoon garlic powder, one teaspoon oregano, one teaspoon turmeric, one teaspoon paprika, half a teaspoon onion powder, black pepper, and half a tablespoon kosher salt. Give it a mix and set aside. Finally, for the marinade, add to the beef two bay leaves, half a tablespoon garlic powder, half a tablespoon salt, half a tablespoon soy sauce, one teaspoon oregano, a quarter teaspoon cumin, half a tablespoon of our sazon, juice from half a lemon, a few cracks of black pepper, and a tablespoon of olive oil. Give it a mix and cover it and marinate for at least one hour. While the beef marinates, finish up preparing the ropa vieja ingredients by quickly slicing up half a red pepper, half a green pepper, half an onion, and three cloves of garlic. To cook the beef, we'll heat a Dutch oven over medium-high heat. Sear the beef on all sides, about five to eight minutes total. Once it's seared, cover the beef with water and add the remaining marinade. Scrape all that delicious bond off the bottom of the pot and cover, leaving the lid cracked to braise for two to three hours. While the beef braises, we're gonna make our side, tostones. Tostones are twice-fried tasty plantain treats say that five times fast. Start by slicing the plantain into one inch pieces. These don't peel as easily as bananas, so peel after slicing. Heat up a third of a cup of oil in a pan over medium heat and add your plantains. Flip after two to three minutes. Remove from the pan onto a paper towel to drain. One by one, smash the plantains with a bowl or mug to flatten them out. Give them a quick dip in water, and then we're back into the frying pan. Fry for another minute on each side before removing and salting immediately. Back to our beef. It's been a few hours, and by checking it with a fork, we can see that it's nice and tender. Take the pot off the heat, Grab a piece of beef with tongs and use a fork to shred it into small strips. Repeat with the rest of the meat. To finish up the beef, heat a pan over medium, add some oil, and fry the beef for about five minutes. If we keep frying, we'd get another Cuban dish, vaca frita, but that's crisper than we want today. So we'll add in the rest of our braising liquid and three tablespoons of tomato paste, cooking for another five minutes. After five minutes, toss in one tablespoon of dry white cooking wine. The rest of our sliced peppers, onions, and garlic. Make sure you completely forget about the bowl of sliced green olives sitting two feet to your left. Give it a stir and cook for another two minutes before removing from the heat. It's time to plate up. I'm plating our ropa vieja here simply with some white rice and tostones on the side. You could easily add some Cuban black beans in here as well.
First off, the beef was fantastic, super rich and very juicy. I was worried that frying it after shredding it would dry it out some, but this was some of the most succulent beef I've had in a long time. The peppers and onions bring some lightness to the dish and a nice crunch, but softened up just enough in those last few minutes. I'm sure those neglected green olives would make this dish even better. And the tostones were nice and crispy. They had a fantastic sweet and salty play going on. This could use just one last thing. A quick daiquiri to wash it all down. Salud! Thanks for watching. I had a lot of fun with the Ropa Vieja and can't wait to make more Cuban food in the future. I really like it, it's all delicious, and there isn't much near me, so it's great to know how accessible it is to make at home. Let me know what you think or if there are any other countries you'd like to see next. If you want to follow along and see where we go next, feel free to subscribe. See you in the next one.